the object has no morals. We have a problem with blame shifting in this country, and really across the world in a sense, but I can only speak for America as being an American. So, if I shoot somebody with a gun, bang bang, you are dead, did the gun do anything? No, the gun did nothing. It was not an actor in the scene. It was a prop, if you will. It was a device that made my will manifest. The gun did nothing beyond what a gun does when someone pulls the trigger. It's chemical nature, you know, bullet, bands, explosion, boom, go. The gun had no decision, choice, or ability to say no or resist. It is a gun. It is me, the killer, the shooter, who is fully responsible for those actions. Guns do not kill people. People kill people. And it's a trite saying that goes over and over again. People say it and banter it. But in truth, it's something we should look at because the gun doesn't kill. It is the prop that allows the killing. I could also strangle a person to death with my bare hands. The gun just makes it a little easier. The issue that needs to be brought up is the fact that this is a principled point that spans across all these different aspects of our society and it isn't specific to the issue of guns. Of course not. Guns are just a really good gateway into it. Because it does span across lots of issues. We have people who are saying that it's video games, music, or books, or movies, or something that makes kids violent today, you know? Pick your medium and time period, and there was a, someone saying that it was the source of all bad ills for, you know, the younger generation. But again, it's the same idea. The, the game did not make the kid do anything. The book did not make the kid do anything. Maybe he gave him an idea, but he already had to be thinking about that. It's like, you know, oh, the Columbine shooters, they played Doom. Doom made them kill people. No, it's a load of crap. Doom did nothing. It's a game. Just because someone was inspired to do something as a result of some outward stimuli does not make the outward stimuli responsible for what they did and the fact that they were already predisposed to responding to that stimuli in the way that they did. Exactly. It's not the fault of the object. It is the fault of the person, quite simply. We have to look at what's called personal accountability, the acceptance of the consequences of one's own actions. Now, let's take the video game issue. You have violent children who are acting out and they eventually shoot somebody. That's not the video game's fault. We look for where the accountability should really lie. And honestly, it goes to the parents. It's one of those things that I, I want to scream at the television when I see a news story about how some child shot up their school and no one's asking about the parents. Where were they and what did they do for their kids? No, what did the school do? What were the books around? What was he playing? Who was he talking to? No, no, no one says, where were the parents? What were they doing? It's, it's the parents' job to raise their children. And when we sit there and blame everything but the parents for something that the parents really should have been involved in, we, we do everyone a disservice because we're not then addressing the problem. We're not fixing anything because we're, we're chasing phantoms. We're chasing ghosts that have nothing to do with the issue. All parents out there understand ever s from the day that their child is born until maybe they reach a certain age at which you could maybe leave them alone at the house. Every parent out there knows that they basically have to pay attention to their child 24 fucking hours a day, even when they're asleep. They have to be worried about what that child is doing. Oh, yes. Now, how does that then, ex that then expands out to the behavior that that child commits because of the because of the huge impact that that parent has on the child by being so pervasive as an influential aspect of that child's life. Yes. They're the most influential person in that child's life, or at least they should be. And if they're not, then there's something fucking wrong. There is. What this means, what it means is rather than if you screw up something, rather than looking around for who to blame or what made you screw up, say you screwed up and you need to fix it. When you respond negatively to outward stimuli and you are looking for the cause, you shouldn't be looking at the outward stimuli, but turning your gaze inward to why you are responding the way that you are. Exactly. It goes down to like if someone insults you and you feel angry and you want to hit them. That is, in a way, yeah, sure they insulted you, you feel angry, but the real cause comes to your response to that insult. If you hit them, it is not their fault, really. 
you chose to hit them. You could have just laughed at their insult or walked away or if you had to, maybe even verbally respond. You didn't have to hit them. That was your choice. But are you trying to say that the thing that incited that person is in no way responsible for this? Well, yes. I mean, short of like, if someone holds a gun to your head and says, I want you to do X or I will shoot you. Well, you have reasonable grounds now to say that an outside influence compelled you to do something. You were coerced. Yes, that's, that's a legitimate thing then. But if some guy says, ah, screw off, and you beat the ever-living piss out of him, that's not his fault. That's your fault. You did it. Sorry. It's a nuanced point wherein there's at least three differing potentials. One, uh, there was some object, not a subject, but an object that in some way incited you to do that. That thing can hold no responsibility. No, it's a thing. If it was a person, then depending on the circumstances, that person may hold some responsibility yeah. or may not. If you panic and people get killed and you're involved in the stampede because somebody else yelled fire, the fault probably isn't going to fall on you in this case if you were caught up in the stampede mentality because someone yelled fire in a crowded theater. And then at the same time, there could be someone with the perspective that it's still the fault of the panicky fucking people who didn't look around to see whether or not there was a fire. Now, that is fair. but That depends on your standard. Of course, but reasonably, you can argue that if someone yells fire, the logical assumption is they mean, and you should get the fuck out because it's a fire. And honestly, that's a good assumption to be able to make. It trusts society because you shouldn't yell fire unless there's a fire because fire kills people. If you're yelling fire, there should be a fire. Then you hold a level of responsibility for choosing to take an action which you would know would end in some kind of a malicious event. You took it knowingly. You're a douchebag. Yeah, and even if you want to say that the total fault doesn't lie with that person, it, you can say at least equal then lies with the group that stampeded. He still chose to do it. He still instigated the event knowing it. And it is a big difference between simply insulting someone and yelling fire in a crowded theater. The First Amendment has gone to the Supreme Court over this distinction. It's a fine one. It's a debatable one at times, depending on the particular circumstances. I'm not going to stand here high and mighty and say that I know where the line falls in every case. But I'm just here to simply say that I feel that it often falls too far on the side of blaming the outside instead of the inside when it comes to society and judging people and their actions. We try to find another thing to blame instead of them too often. I'm not trying to say that this should be a blame society where if someone screws up, we destroy it. But we're not going to fix problems by looking at things that don't cause problems. We're only going to fix a problem that exists by looking at the true cause. And that's all I'm advocating. We find where we are responsible, all of us, each of us, for the things we do. And we find a way to make them better, correct them, change them, or in some way modify these things so that we don't cause harm. And then, even if other people are being douchebags, you're not. Just something to think about.